Welcome back. I hope you have a great day and making it incredible one for you. Well, in this video, we will learn how to export and import rack effect in Adobe Editions that in future you can use them in case of your Windows failure or your Windows corrupt or any other kind of error. You must have a clip in your addition into timeline as you can see or you can record from this button. Then go to effect track from here. If you don't find the effect track here, go to Windows and make sure effect track is checked. From here, you can apply the adjustment for example you can apply the, the effects like denoise or whatever once you have applied all your effect tracks now what you need select them all one by one select first one then press ctrl key and select second one and then select all one by one once you select all from here you can see this save effect stack as a preset click on this button and name it for example rest hit the ok you can delete them from here right click on that and remove the selected effect now you can go to this preset button and from here you can see the rest this is our preset that we have made if you are recording with the same mic in the same studio or same place you can use this preset second time similarly if you are a vlogger or youtuber or voiceover you can use these presets you can make different preset for your different kind of mic your different studio or dif for different places i also have made a different preset for my different kind of mic and you know you can see this rest preset second time you can come here go to preset and simply click on that you can see all your effects are there and then click on this apply button and then save it and you are good to go but now let me show you if i close this first of all close the adobe edition now the question is that how to export them so my friend in adobe edition then you cannot export them from directly from here in adobe edition you cannot export effect track preset directly from here but you can export them first of all close your adobe edition from here press the control or command q now go to this PC from here go to local C or your C partition then go to users folder and then go to your username and then from here see this app data folder go to app data and one more thing if you don't find this app data or the hidden folder what you need first of all go to view then from here in Windows 11 you can find this easily you can go, go to show and then make sure hidden items is checked in Windows maybe in Windows 10 it is not here you can go to three dots and then go to show and then make sure that hidden items hidden items is checked from here go to app data then go to roaming and from here go to adobe and then go to audition go to your version number i am in my case 24.0 and scroll down a little bit you can see the effect presets this is dot xml file you can you can cut it or you can copy it and paste it anywhere that in the future you can use it back i will recommend don't save it into your local c drive because it is already in c drive in case of your windows corrupt or any error occur it will be wasted so save it on other disk or in usb flash or any any other external hard drive or whatever i just want to show you in this case i will cut it but i will don't recommend you you just need to copy it because you just have to save a backup in, in this case i just want to show you that how it works i will cut it from here paste it on my desktop and you can see it is now on my desktop if you are editing a video in premiere pro you can also simply right click on your screen recording or your audio clip simply right click on any clip and from here see this edit clip in adobe edition now reopen your adobe edition imports the same clip or you can record the or you can record new clip from this red button go to preset panel and from here let's see you can see my friend there is no rest effect or any other effect that i have already created why because we have moved it location in adobe algorithms adobe thinks that it have been deleted or removed or windows problem occurs so that's why i recommend you that don't save the backup on the c drive because anytime unfortunately windows problem can occur and your effect will be destroyed all your hard work will be destroyed and you will be exposed you can copy or cut here i will simply copy it from here and paste it to its original location where it should be go to local c once you reach the location simply paste it here and replace the file in the destination and you are good to go now close restart your addition welcome back how are you once you reopen your addition record or import any clip in the timeline and then go to preset panel and you can see my friend the rest here and all my other presets that i have already created and in this way my friend you can export and import effect rack preset in adobe edition and save a backup and make sure that you save the backup before your windows corrupt or unfortunately any other software problem occur i hope you enjoyed this video and it helps to you and if it did so make sure to give us a like and also make consider to subscribe and just to subscribe ring the bell that you my friend can don't miss out any other feature tips tricks or tutorials so meet in the next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating